leather armor is basically worthless. <laughs> Hello again, Skunk Monkey here, and today is time for another data pack showcase. And I I love data packs. I think they are one of the best things that Mojang has allowed in the game. Uh, because it allows the community to be so creative and do so many things. And today's this one is awesome. Absolutely awesome. It is better armor, better leather armor by Banhammer, and you know leather armor is basically worthless in my opinion because when i'm playing survival i completely skip it because so often it's hard even to get leather there's not always cows around and i really don't like killing horses to get leather and it doesn't add a ton of protection so i just regularly skip it go right to iron but this gives you a reason to actually get leather armor and the reason that you want to get leather armor is because by dyeing it, you can get different status effects or whatever effects while you're wearing it. And you have to be wearing the complete set. So it's not like you can be like, oh, I'm going to wear a you know, red hat and the rest is going to be diamond. No, no, you need to wear the entire set. So you can't be wearing your elytra. You can't be wearing your better armor. Just this. But... In some cases, it's worth it. Now, of the 16 colors, 14 of them are used. For cyan and purple, there, there's nothing. But for the other 14, they all have a unique property. So, for gray, you have strength. Lime is hero of the village. Blue is water breathing. Red is regeneration. Pink is fire resistance. Light blue is dolphin's grace. Yellow is speed. Light gray is jump boost, black is haste, white is levitation, which I'm not really sure. I, I guess you could use that. Put it on to get somewhere high, and then you could take off. Oh, that'd be kind of a cool idea, actually. <laughs> Regular old brown is resistance, green is night vision, orange is slow falling, and magenta is saturation. And th these things are so cool. So let's uh, l let's just get ourselves a set here. And of course, it... If you don't know how to dye leather armor, it's really simple. You just make it, you put it in the crafting with any color of dye, and it changes to that color. Really simple. And I believe in a cauldron, you can wash it off if you want to. So let's go into, actually, let's hop over into survival. And if I put all of this on, you can see once I get the complete set on, now I've got speed. <laughs> but if I take any of it off... It will slowly go away until it's gone completely. Uh, same thing with any of these. So, let's say, fire resistance is always an important thing to have. Oops. Especially early on, trying to get into the nether. So, if you put that on, of course, it'll give you... Give me... Thank you, fire resistance. Which is... Oh, I, I love that little icon. That's pretty. I like the... The 1.14 update. Uh, so yes, this is a 1.14 data pack, if I had mentioned that. And it is super cool. I, I want this. This is this is something that I do want because I feel like I would use it, especially early game, but even later on, I think it could be very helpful to have night vision or to have, you know, regeneration or saturate. It's just so cool to be able to have by just putting on armor. Uh, I hope you guys go out there and try this. Uh, go to the Planet Minecraft page, which link, of course, will be in the description. Download it, try it out, have fun with it. I'm going to try to talk to uh, the server manager that I play on, see if he'll put it on. Because this is cool. This is cool. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys try it out. And if you guys like the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing, turn on those notifications, and I hope to see you in the next Datapack Showcase. Until next time.